Hello and welcome to the very first video of Easter Bunny Unlimited, my second channel. If you'd like to check out my first channel, Easter Egg Entertainment, which is dedicated to video games and more particularly focused on super heroic video games, there will be a link in the description below and as well as a link at the very end of this video. Now this channel is particularly dedicated to mostly nerdy pursuits and will include some video game content. But in particular, this episode is dedicated to double masters from Magic the Gathering. Now the Master Series, which is known to collect some of the best cards from Magic's history, began in June of 2013 with the Modern Masters. Now this particular set, Double Masters, the appeal for this was that in each booster pack, there would be guaranteed two rares or mythic rares, in addition to two holographic cards or foil cards, which could also be rare or mythic as well. And if you bought a box, it would include two box toppers, which would have alternate art of a select pool of Magic's finer cards. Now, this is also the very first time that I'm opening an entire box by myself, and so you get to help experience that tree along with me. So let's get started. Here we go from the get-go. Here's the what you get to see when they open the box. And here's the uh, Double Masters box topper. So let's see what's inside that. All right, so we have a Council's Judgment, and which is a pretty awesome card in general. And we have a Jace the Mind Sculptor. And both are full art. Neither of which are holographic, but hey. A Jace the Mind Sculptor for a promo. That's a pretty dang good pull, honestly. Maybe one of the best pulls. So now we're going to cast put that aside. And open the rest of these packs. All right, let's see what we got. So we got Azul's Toll Collector. Yeah, we got some commons, Kozilek's Predator, Glaze Fiend, Mirror Retriever, which has an infinite combo. Uh, I don't know if you're all aware of that, just Google Mirror Retriever Infinite Combo, and you'll probably be able to figure it and find it. Metallic Rebuke. We got an Urza's Power Plant, which is Tron, which is honestly one of my most hated enemies. Uh, Peace Strider, Crusade of Ordric, which I used to use in my token decks. Welding Jar, Galvanic Blast, Onaganata. Ooh, and we have our first Mythic, Maelstrom Nexus, if you're running an all color style deck or an all color mana deck. And it's got Cascade, which is pretty dang useful. And our other rare is Ion Storm. And then for our hollows for this pack, we've got Fortify, which I actually, I think I do have another hollow version of this. And Accomplished Automaton, which these are both commons, but I love hollows in general, so. And then we got a treasure token. All right, now let's, I'm gonna separate these into some piles so it's gonna make things a little bit easier when I get to the end. All right. Now, we'll go on to our very next pack. Okay, 
Defiant Salvager, Rapacious Dragon, Sylvan Might, which isn't a terrible card. Apprentice Wizard, Sinner's Puzzle Knot, Full Show Gauntlets, Magnifying Glass, Angel of the Dawn, kind of an interesting creature, a little uh, drop heavy though. Doctor Engineer, Trash for Treasure, Oblet. Oh, we have uh, another Mythic, Dark Steel Forge for those of you running a little bit higher cost uh, colorless or artifact decks. And we got a regular version of Council's Judgment. And for our hollows, got an Angel of Dawn and Executioner's Capsule. Both still common, but hey. And then for our token, we got Tuk Tuk the Returned. And I guess I should mention that the MSRP of one of these boxes, I think probably at the moment right now as of this video and of the opening of this package is probably about $330 uh, MSRP in US. At least that was the about the price on Amazon. Got another Sylvan Might, Cathartic Reunion, Conclave Naturalist, Supernatural Stamina, Eager Construct, Steel Sabotage, Golem Skin Gauntlets, Crib Swap, a Sphinx Summoner, Ravenous Intruder, Golem Artisan. All right, these lands are incredibly useful. They're the ones that you can either tap for a colorless or you can, or they're dual color. So you can tap uh, one or two colors and then add two, uh, two of a particular color, one and one, or two of another color. So in this light, particular one, it's a Twilight Mire, which is for green and black. So these cards are incredibly useful. I don't see them a lot played in decks, but they usually go, depending on the colors, for a pretty high price. And we got a Walking Ballista, another fantastic card. Only a rare, but still. Rarity sometimes doesn't matter when it comes to having useful cards in your decks. And then for our Hollows, we're giving a Rest of Creation and a Cosalix Predator in Hollow form. And we got a Mirror Token. Some crushing vines. Ooh, to vest. Not a bad if you're uh, trying to cycle through someone's hand. Death Hood Cobra. Upgrade. Another Urza's Power Plant. Peace Strider. Frogify. Fro turning into frogs is always kind of a, a fun mechanic in magic. Another Angel of Dawn. Throne of Geth. Which is, uh, I don't know if there's a lot of proliferate cards in this uh, set, but this one's definitely one of the uh, less drop heavy. Class deck Kulk, Woodland Champion, and then another Mythic, Imperial Recruiter. And then we have our second rare, which is Mazarek, Crawl of Death Beast. And then for our Hollows, Alabaster Mage, Gleaming Barrier, and we get an Angel Token. So no rare Hollows yet, but I mean, you can always can always hope and pray, right? All right. Alright, Tumble Magnet, Dire Fleet Hoarder, a Goblin Gavalier, Cosmo Predator, a Sift, ooh, another Mirror Retriever, and we got an Urza's Mine. So if you didn't know anything about the uh, Urza Trio lands, is basically if you get all three of them, you can uh, tap them for essentially 
uh, seven ish mana so it's pretty dang useful and they're actually uh, if you're looking to just buy some just because they're actually not that expensive which is i don't know i think it's pretty strange but it's probably because it's been uh either reprinted so much or uh, there's just so many of them out there in general got fortify riddle smith sandstone oracle cogwork assembler oh and we got another double land which is black and white fetid heath and another mythic rare in the form of mana crypt and then for our two hollows we got a magnifying glass and a lovely ancient stirrings which for being a common this is a pretty dang useful card when you're especially when you're searching for colorless cards and that includes lands too and so it's uh it actually works great with those uh urza lands i was talking about earlier and we got a plant token Now to mention, uh, depending on the type of booster box, uh, it usually comes with either between 36 to 24 booster packs. Um, in this case, it comes with 24, but hey, for getting two rares and two hollows in every booster pack, I think that's pretty good. Got Salivating Goblins, Heartless Pillage, a Braid, Supernatural Stamina, Pirate Spell Braum. I got a Brainstorm, uh, Cabthothdion, Crusader of Ordric, Oriac Salvagers, ooh, a Fatal Push. Now, these are actually, I mean, depending on who you ask, they could be really good or overrated. They're just, in general, a good uh, kill card, and they're really cheap uh, to drop, so. Yeah, uh, if you're running a low-cost deck, these are probably worth throwing in or throwing in your sideboard. Unlicensed Disintegration, and we've got, for a rare, a Pure Steel Paladin which is a great and also can cause an infinite combo if you're using an artifact equipment deck. So another great card. And a Master Transmuter as well. So that's the other card we have here. And for our hollows, we've got Golem Skin Gauntlets and a Sentinel of Pearl Trident. This might be the first uncommon we've got for a hollow, so... All right, well, maybe we're getting a little better. So, and we just get another mirror token, but a different art one. We got a bone picker skin brand goblin. Ooh, a regular non hollow ancient stirrings. Royal Pace Dragon, Gleaming Barrier, Flare Husk, another Brainstorm, Alabaster Mage, Oval Chase Daredevil, Gore Clan Rapager, Skull Muncher, and for a rare, we've got a Skull Forger. So, or yes, a Skull or Sun Forger. My bad. I read it wrong. Um, and then for our other rare, we get a Baleful Strix, which is actually, uh, I think it's included in a few of the commander decks, just as like one of those uh, pre-built ones. And they're actually not that bad of a card. For It's got a load of effects, even though it is only a 1-1, one, one, but it's, got, it's great for uh, going through your deck as well as causing a nice blocker. And then for our hollows, we got Salivating Goblins. And Fencing Ace, another uncommon hollow. And then we just have a coffee token. My 
Cloud of the Masses, A Driver of the Dead, Orcish Vandal, Parasitic Streaks, Flare Husk, Golemskin Gauntlets, Quarter Monitor, Strength of Arms, A Weapons Trainer, A Disciple of the Vault, Yavamaya's Embrace, and for a rare, we have Open the Vault. And a Falkenroth Aristocrat. So those of you uh, running Red Black Vampires. And then for our Hollows, Metal Spinners Puzzle Knot. And a Buried Ruin, which can actually come in useful uh, if you're running an artifact deck. At least in your sideboard, of course. Uh, I've known a couple of people to run these. And we got a Golem Token. Another Driver of the Dead, a Clear Shot, Weapon Surge, Heartless Pillage. We have an Urza's Tower, which completes the trio for lands, for the Urza lands. So now I can at least have uh, one set of these and do that <laughs> seven combo, but it's useful probably to have four of these each in the deck if you're running that kind of a deck, especially a Tron deck. It's your Wellspring. Cloud Reader Sphinx, Sanctum Spirit, Crop Rotation, Ash Barons, Sir Sphinx, and for our rare, we've got a Reshape, as well as a Mirror Battle Sphere, which uh, when I bought one of those uh, Commander pre built decks, this was in that deck. So, And for our Hollows, we've got a Sith. And Esperzoa, which is a jellyfish. And another mirror token. All right, still got a good number of these boosters, so let's see if we can... Uh, Pull some excellent stuff out of these. I mean, most of these cards, even the commons and the uncommons, are pretty dang excellent, so I'm going to be pretty satisfied in general, but I know a bunch of you are looking out for the really, really rare stuff, or the stuff that's, you know, has a really high price tag. The Vest, Skin Brand Goblin, then we had a Crushing Vines, Expedition Map, another card that's uh, used to search for those Urza lands. Frogify, Iron Bully, Everflowing Chalice, which is just a kind of an interesting and fun card in general. And for fun, it's a zero drop card. A Throbbing Inspector, if you're doing those clue tokens. Core Trapper, Elven Mysteries, Selesnya Guild Mage. Ooh, and we've got a Liege of the Tangled, which actually in other sets is a, a mythic rare, but in this particular set, they decide to make it a rare. And we've got a Sundering Titan. And for our Hollows, a Veldakan Infuser. And a Twisted Abomination. For which, uh, when I bought my Graveborn deck, which was one of those uh, premium decks that had all Hollows, this card was actually in the uh, Graveborn premium deck. And we get another art for a Wolf Token. I have a lot of different arts for wolf tokens, so this would be a fun one to add to my collection. All right, Tamir Battle Rage. Running some uh, red aggro. Cast down. Ooh, dark steel axe. These are uh, a fun equipment, being, you know, 
indestructible and all. Full Shot Gauntlets, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Costly Plunder, Ishur Well Spear, Glint Sleeve, Artisan, Bloodshot Trainee, Pentad Prism, Ash Barons, and for our rare, we've got a Sword of the Meek. As well as Godo Bandit Warlord. And for our hollows, yet another Salivating Gremlins as well as Yavamaya's Embrace. And we get a Shapeshifter token. Consul's Toll Collector, Bone Picker, Salvain Gremlins, Whisper of the Wilds, Relic Runner, Surge Node, Gleaming Barrier, Sanctum Spirit. We got a Dark Steel Citadel, if you're again running colorless or just a uh, running artifact. Kind of useful if you uh, need an indestructible land. Sentinel of the Pearl Trine, ooh, Path to Exile. Fun, have especially gone down in price in the past couple years. There is pretty much, at this point, no replacing a easy exile card at the cost of your opponent getting a tapped basic land. Ratchet Bomb. So, I don't know. I feel like this is an underappreciated card. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. And we got a Maze of Ith, which is another card that I don't see commonly used in play, but in the right circumstance, it can definitely be useful. And for our hollows, we've got an Iron Bully and an O Naganada. And we get a Servo Token. Our Fleet Hoarder, Bloodbriar, Tumble Magnet, another ever flowing chalice. We got an Earth is Mine, Eager Construct, Sift, Remember the Fallen, Gelatinous Genesis, Mishra's Factory, Asper's Zoa, Ooh, Vexing Shusher. Never saw that many people use this card, but uh, I use it in. I made an entirely anti blue deck because, you know, blue is one of my worst enemies and so this definitely was a card to go in there and maelstrom pulse a fun destroy card if you're especially well i mean you kind of have to be running a uh, black and green mana in order to use it and for our hollows we got a fairy mechanist as well as a defiant salvager and a germ token. Death Hood Cobra, Sanctum Gargoyle, Salivating Gremlins, Silamgar Scavenger, Relic Runner, another Expedition Map, Iron Leak Steed, Ooh, Ancestral Blade, kind of an interesting card, and a newer card for that matter. Painsmith, Enlarge, Goldosa Flame Fiend, oh, and a Mythic. This one's, uh, at least before the release of the set, was pretty costly. A uh, Mox Opal. So, yeah, 
pay attention, especially if you're uh, using this with that pure steel paladin combo. Uh, it's a zero drop and uh, add one mana of any color. This ability only if you control three or more artifacts. So pretty dang useful if you're running artifacts. Ooh, okay, let's see if I can pronounce this right. Joria Weatherlight Captain. Uh, a newer iteration of Joria, I think, because um, there is an older version. And so it's about historic spells going off. So, And for our hollows, we got a Crib Swap and a Fierce Empath, Elf. And another Germ Token. Twisted Abomination, because it was Tool Collector, Sanctum Goblin, Metallic Redoop, Buke, Metal Spinner, Puzzle Knot, Peace Shredder, Beldothkin, Infuser, Crib Swap, Izzet Charm, Chief of the Foundry, ooh, a Flicker Wisp. These are uh, Exile Creature. Uh, a little costly on the uh, mana drop, but you know. Ooh, and a Sunken Ruins. These ones, uh, especially for these colors, uh, they fetch, you know, not like a terribly high price, but usually around between 30 to 40 bucks. And a Kemba Car Regent for all you uh, cat lovers out there looking to make some cat decks. And for our hollows, we got a Relic Runner and a Mesmeric Orb, which is our first rare hollow. So. Hey, we at least got one rare hollow. Let's see if we can pull another. And we get an elf warrior token. Got a Glaze Fiend Goblin Cavalier Sanctum Gargoyle. Another Ancient Stirrings. Skin Wing. Argivian Restoration. Baldivian Rage. Alabaster Mage. Fencing East. A Thopter Foundry. Another card that was included with uh, my commander deck I bought. Cog War Assembler. And for our rare, we get Thought Reflection. And also a Rolling Earthquake. And then for our hollows, we've got a cathartic reunion, as well as a pyrite spell bomb, and a human soldier for our token. Got another Ancient Stirrings Bone Picker, Lightning Axe Glaze Fiend, and Urza's Power Plant. I feel like I've gotten the most of those, if anything. Steel Sabotage, Iron League Steed, Fortify, Spring Leaf Drum, Mirror Smith, Rush of Knowledge. And for our rares, we got a Time Sieve, as well as Master of a Fairy. And for our hollows, Whisper of the Wilds, and another rare, another Master of Ethereum. And for our token, a Thopter.
Dire Fleet Hoarder, Whisper of the Wilds, Tumble Magnet, a Divest, Pyrite Spellbomb, Cathodion, Veldak Infuser, Chatter of the Squirrel, Veteran Explorer. Ooh, yes, I was hoping to get one of these. It's an uncommon, but uh, Mishra's Bobble is a nice artifact because it's a zero drop and you sacrifice it and on your next upkeep you get to draw an additional card. So, hey, no spending mana and your next turn you get to draw an extra card. They actually used to be a lot cheaper and I should have bought them when they were because they have uh, gone up in price a lot since my last looking at it. Got Death Reap Ritual and we have an Aether Sworn Cannonist which is pretty useful if you're fighting someone because uh, they can't cast any extra non-artifact spells. And for our other rare, a duplicate. A lot of text too on that, so sorry. It's not the most clear. And for our hollows, supernatural stamina and iron league steed. And then we got a clue token. Elvish Aberration Abraid. Twisted Abomination, Parasitic Strings, Skin Wing. And Urza's Tower. Surge Node, Strength of Arms. Another Buried Ruin. Hidden Stockpile. Pure Wild Shaman. Oh, yes, I was hoping to get one of these as well. I present to you Blood Moon. Especially terrible in uh, modern because not all non-basic lands become mountains. So very red based deck and a mythic. And I was actually hoping to get uh, one of these swords as well, which is sort of light and shadow. So collect all the, the swords. I mean, it'd be pretty pricey if you buy them all separately, but you know, we have a skin brand goblin for our hollow and a hollow thopter foundry as well as a cat token. Cool cat. Rapacious Dragon, Assimilator Scavenger, Death Hood Cobra, Apprentice Wizard, Shadow of the Squirrel, A Sickle Slicer, Balduvian Rage, Glint Steel, Artisan, Valor and Akros, Dread Return. Pretty dang useful uh, bring back from the dead card. Fortunately, it's uh, banned in modern currently. Top of the statue. And for our rare, we've got a Magus of the Abyss. And. An especially useful Noble High Arc because it's altered and you can tap it for potentially three different mana. So I've never uh, seen or used one of these. Especially useful in uh, infect, quick infect decks. And for our hollows, Fairy Mechanist and Ra Ravenous Intruder. We got a George Joker. Revoke existence, weapon surge, heartless pillage, clear shot, fairy mechanist, costly plunder, accomplished automaton, remember the fallen. Ooh, another useful card. Manamorphose. Basically, you're using two mana, and then uh, you add another two mana, but in any colors, as well as draw a card. So 
I mean, essentially, it's a cancel out cost and with the extra bonus of drawing a card. Valoris Stance, Drown in Sorrow. And for our rare, we got a Blasphemous Act. So, interesting wipe card. And a Terastodon, which was actually another card that was included with the, uh, oh, that Graveborn deck. And for our hollows, a Springleaf Drum, as well as a Dismantle. And got a Demon Token. All right, we're down to our last three packs. So let's see what it's got in store. Silmagar Scavenger, We've got Lightning Axe, Kozilek's Predator, look at that, a Chromatic Star, another land fetcher if you're running that Urza deck I was talking about. And, as well as yet another Urza's Tower. Oh, and it flew. Cloud Reader Sphinx. And a Sickle Slicer. Sanct of Spirit. Pongify. A Reclamation Sage, which is actually a very good green sideboard card, especially, you know, if you're looking to uh, destroy some artifacts or enchantments. Cranial Plating. Ooh, and for our rare, we have a Fulmigator Mage land destroyer so there aren't a ton of uh low cost land destroyer cards out there so this is a pretty good one and we also have a wrath of god and for our hollows we get a hollow urza's mine as well as a school muncher and we get for our token, an ooze. Crushing Vines, Lightning Axe, Bloodbriar, Corridor Monitor, Accomplished Automaton, Iron Bully, Fairy Mechanist, Throbin Inspector, Sphinx of the Guild Pact. Ooh, Vampire Hexmage. This is the first time they've actually reprinted this card. You know, since the, uh, I think it's the Zendikar set, which was the set I actually first started playing Magic on. Um, so she's one of the very few vampire pure black cards that has first strike. There aren't a ton of, actually in general, I don't think there's any pure, a uh, ton of pure black first strike cards out there and her ability is amazing if you sacrifice her then you get to remove all counters from her target permanent which i mean it's an instant planeswalker killer and you know you can also use the uh, block sack technique we have a johori is familiar and for our rares we got a rage reflection so it's uh double the damage uh well sorry creatures you can show up double straight as well as a Glimmer Void. And for our Hollows, we've got some Volshock Gauntlets, as well as a Sarah Sphinx. And an Elephant Token, because, I mean, who doesn't need more elephants in their life? All right. This is the last pack, the last melon. Whisper of the Wilds, Defiant Salvager, Orcish Vandal, Maya of the Masses, Eco Construct, Gleaming Barrier, Parasitic Strix, An Ancestral Blade, Mishra's Factory, Treasure Mage, Thirst for Knowledge. And for our rares, we have a Perexian Revoker, which is a horror token, so. And a Mythic Rare, Scytherix the Black Dragon. 
the only infect dragon out there. I mean, there aren't a ton of infect creatures in general, but if you're running a higher cost infect deck, well, this guy is definitely one you want to have, if you're, especially if you have black. For our hollows, we have a revoke existence, as well as some crushing minds, and yet another angel token. So, I mean, that's it. It's the uh, end of the box. But I would like to thank you for watching. And hopefully you saw some cards you liked. Or maybe you think about getting one of these boxes for yourself. And I encourage you to like and subscribe. As well as like and subscribe to my other channel if you like video games and superheroes. And so I will catch you in the next video. And you have a good one.